It is not uncommon for children with autism to become obsessed with their favorite topics or toys. Such behaviors may include collecting and becoming attached to certain items. Self-stimulating behaviors such as hand flapping, head banging, rocking or lining up toys repeatedly may be exhibited by some children. As children with autism are incapable of describing how they experience their activities, we cannot assume that the activities they participate in are disturbing. It is possible for some individuals with autism to enjoy discussing their interests. Hi, I'm Fareen and in this video, we will be discussing the ways in which repetitive behaviours are beneficial to children with autism. In addition, finding a suitable balance between accepting and changing the behaviour may be better than completely removing it. Children with autism who talk about their interests regularly may find it advantageous since it keeps them engaged, especially if they have weak play skills because they are talking about something they enjoy. Repetitive activities can also be used as a means of self-expression. Children with autism, for example, may flail their hands to convey their joy or frustration. It might also be a coping method for them to manage their worry and stress. It provides individuals a sense of control over their uncertain circumstances by engaging in this behaviour. In light of the above benefits, attempting to stop repetitive behaviours might not be helpful or may even be distressing for your child. Therefore, finding the right balance between acceptance and change may be the best strategy. There are still some behaviours that may interfere with their ability to learn and interact with others. Thus, it is important to consider some of these questions if you are planning to change the behaviours. Specifically, does your child's behaviour interfere with their ability to learn? Does your child's behaviour result in harm to them or others? Or will those behaviours be acceptable when your child gets older? Understanding the reason of repeated behaviours and finding alternate ways to satisfy your child's need to engage in repetitive behaviour are critical steps in correcting the behaviour. For example, if your child is using repetitive behaviours to convey feelings of joy or frustration, giving them other ways to express those feelings can help to diminish their desire to engage in such behaviours. However, intervention is crucial if your child's behaviour is putting themselves or others in danger. At ARN, we strongly believe that it is important to first understand why your child's repetitive behaviours occur and then to see whether there are any other methods to meet your child's needs. Finding a suitable balance between accepting and changing your child's repetitive behaviours rather than eliminating them could be good to their learning, social interaction skills and happiness. If you have any inquiries, feel free to contact us with the information shown on the screen. And if you can think of someone who may be able to benefit from this video, do share it with them as well. We'll see you in our next video. Bye!